As long as evil lurks in the hearts of men, there will be pop stations. And look, it's the latest one that I've found. Games. Or Gamza, maybe I'm going to pronounce it to be annoying. Yes, um, rather than actually change the games or improve them in any way, what they've decided to do is just remake them as shit as ever and stick them in something that rotates. Because making a plastic thing that spins around is of course a lot easier than making a new video game. So what have we got? Three in one games console. Just twist and play. You know, like you do with most consoles, except without the twisting. Great sound effects are not present on this unit. And yeah, that's how it spins. Well done. Piranha Man. Ooh, that's a new one. Submarine. That's not a new one. And Kung Fu. Spoiler. It's that bloody city fighter game again where people pull their arms and legs off and throw them at each other. Ah, as if I haven't seen that enough in my life. Well, what have we got going on here then? Three fantastic games of skill and excitement are in your hands. Presuming you're holding something else. Just twist and play and you'll be amazed at the great games and great sounds. It's easy to play, but tough to be good. Have you got the moves? Because we haven't and we're the ones who wrote the game. Interesting, there's a new Sad Onion logo here of a sort of really spaced out, miserable child with a small wick. It looks like a sad bomb, I think, actually, looking at it. Made in China, there's a surprise, and uh, oh, from Wilwyn Garden City, this is actually a UK import model. Thanks whoever sent this in. And there's some stuff in other languages in case you want to be patronised and lied to in several other popular European lingos. Right then, for ages six and up, Nought to three. Make your fucking minds up, lads. Don't stick it in the bin. I'm afraid that's exactly where it's going. Oh my god, I've just realised this came from Matalan, which is like a uh, clothing shop. Oh, fair enough. Um, presumably they've now moved into pop stations because clothes don't provide the same level of beeping confusion. Right, here's the unit itself then. Well, saying that, here's the massive instructions. What are these games like? We don't really care. Oh man, I've got to mention this actually. Uh, when I got this, the batteries didn't work, and I opened it up and it takes two goddamn watch batteries, AG13s, and it really didn't take them very well. For starters, one of the ones already in there had rotted, so I had to sort of clean out all the uh, rust and stuff out of it, and then, to make the matters even worse, all the little bits were bent and it wouldn't work. Oh, it's such a pain in the ass. but I finally managed to bend all the contacts into a position where it seemed to work. Possibly putting it back in the packet has already ruined that and it will no longer function and I'll have to, I don't know, do some soft chew and uh, ad-lib something instead. Like I don't ad-lib it already. Right, games! Oh, look how round it is and look how pathetic the joypad is. I mean, for starters, it doesn't have up pointing up, so that's quite a bad beginning. It's got little sharp bits which stick in your thumb, so genius design there, lads. And you feel like you're going at diagonals the whole time and it's soft and awful. You've got two controls, punch stroke missile and strike stroke bomb. Already I am confused. I hope they're for different games, they haven't just got one really crazy one on there. And on the back, patent pending. Yep, I'm sure the patent office really love you guys. So we've got Kung Fu up first. Let's press the on-off switch, which does pleasingly have a recessed power symbol on it, and see what's what. Oh, for fuck's sake, it's the same old music even. Didn't realise that. Well, here we go. Seems to be advertising their Piranha Man game in the background, but other than that, it's just the same old thing. The graphics do seem to be redrawn, so to speak, but it's got the same music and the same excuse for a game. Go on, let's have a quick one and start. This is... Ah, yes, you get to choose whether to be left man or right man. We shall be left man. That's not appropriate music. Is it, is it beginning yet? Oh yeah, they wave their arms at each other and we're off. And there's absolutely no way of telling what's going on whatsoever. There's just things flying across the screen. It's actually less clear than previous versions. I mean, who's firing what? Who's doing what? What's going on? Why am I playing this? Is anybody winning? I think I'm winning, judging by the uh, energy bars. All I'm doing, of course, is repeatedly slapping the punch button. Because there's just no way of uh, working this out at all. Have you got the moves? It asked us on the package. Somebody hasn't got the moves, and it ain't us. Come on. Just beat him for old time's sake. There we are. And I go back in the corner, wave my arm around a bit, and some other git comes on. Fan flipping tastic. So, shut up. That's Kung Fu. Next up is Submarine. With the theme tune to the South Bank show. Variations on something or other? Andrew Lloyd Webber? Ah, oh, I can't remember. Right. Um, that was odd. Why is there nothing on the screen now? Oh no. It plays music but doesn't show anything. Oh no, something's appeared. 
hasn't it? Yay! Here we go, submarine. Oh, actually, this is a different game to the usual submarine invasion guff, I think. Um, let's try and work it out. So, sorry, just got thrown there. Wasn't that to... Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. You know, that thing the frog sings in that cartoon that time. I don't know. Right, anyway, this submarine's coming from the right. I'm on the left. The music is ridiculous. And they're dropping bombs or something. Are they trying to blow up the little bases at the bottom? I don't know. Everything's disappeared. Now there aren't any bases at the bottom. Or oh, is there one? Hang on, I can barely see the graphics. Um, ah, press that button. You seem to drop a... What? What's happened? I have no... Oh, game over! It's flashing in the corner. What the frickin' hell happened there? I have no concept of what was going on at any stage of that. Let's try it again. The music's still throwing me off. Right. Shoot those at those. Ah, uh, pushing down drops bombs. Ah, and you can blow up those little things at the bottom. And I've blown them all up. And it now says game over! Oh right, you're supposed to protect them, are you? So why can I drop bombs down? Am I supposed to go over the enemy submarines? This is really... Not very good. Yes, you can basically... Bu oh, no, I've sunk the submarine even further, because, you know, it's a submarine, so it's already pretty sunk to begin with. That's the operating parameters. Well, crikey blimey O'Reilly, that is a new one, vaguely, and it's pretty freaking terrible. So, finally, Piranha Man. Full rotating action, look. It's like a wheel, only less functional. Well, it's para oh my god, it's some sort of confusing maze game. Some sort of version of um, Pac-Man or something, just with a confusing jerky maze made out of lines you can't quite see. Just what I always felt was lacking from Pac-Man myself. Right, oh. Right, start. What, what is this? There's a load of piranha men. And music. And oh, right, here we go. Here we are. Ah uh, yes, I think the maze is sort of scrolling. I don't know, you only seem to be able to move one block every five hours or something. It's a very slow-paced game. Ah, uh, what's this? A horn? A man trap? Oh no, that's the pack power pellet. If only I could move it more than 0.2 miles an hour, I can maybe catch an enemy fish thing and eat it up. Oh god, this is basically Pac-Man for the terminally dull. Or people who don't really like to see what's happening. Can I stop playing this yet, please? <laughs> oh, man. Well, it's a new pop station game, so that's something. Didn't even recognise where they'd stolen that tune from. Ah, oh, well, that's the end of that, thank goodness. Well, they're still producing the damn things and they're not getting any better. But now, some other more traditional pop stations. Ooh. And by traditional, I mean unbelievably strange. Say hello to the Cool Eye King! He's got a half Batarang controller and a full Batarang controller, and he is... I don't even know how to begin here. I tell you what, uh, let's have a look at the package, then we'll pull it open and see if we can make some kind of analysis of the situation, because I really don't like what I'm seeing there. Right, the screen appears to go into his back, um, the back of the Cool Eye King, and the games available are Sir and Space Fighting, presumably that's C and Space Fighting, um, as opposed to Sir, which is how they spell Sir in Game of Thrones, and Foot Space Ball. Marvellous. Free batteries are Tonya, and appear to have corroded internally already, so well done. And final game is, of course, Bloody Street Overlord, but this time with stolen um, SNK-rendered uh, Capcom characters uh, from Marvel vs. Capcom 2, I believe, looking at that. No, not Marvel vs. Capcom, SNK vs. Cap Capcom vs. SNK 2. There we are. How many bloody crossover games have they had? Next week, Capcom vs. That Woman from the Grocers. Right, what's inside, then? Uh, oh, as soon as I've never actually opened this, and uh, it is actually quite heftily sealed. Oh no, we're getting there. We have to go and, oh, but, ah. This is what we in the trade call a bad start. <laughs> the Cool Eye King has shattered before we've even begun. Here's the instructions. Uh, the instructions make him look like Batman, because he looks more like Wolverine to me. Right, get the old uh, controllers out. Which one will I use? They seem to have identical ports. Um, well, that's just a monstrosity which should never have been born, and that looks a bit like a Batarang. We're going to go with that one. Twisty ties, twisty ties, this is the song I sing to fill time. Right, we are. Right, um, hmm. Oh, they do have different ends. 
Oh, I think uh, I think player one might be that way. I, I do. Uh, right. <clears throat> so. So. Cool Eye King. You're not even a Cool Eye Prince. You can't even hold together. Um, that goes in the... Mm -hmm. okay. uh, click. Click. Right. Um, this is going to be a long one. Right, let's have a look at it anyway. Cool Eye King, says the stand. And this is apparently the Cool Eye King. I thought this was some weird, super deformed version of an existing character, but no, it seems to be entirely original. They've decided to make up a superhero that looks a bit like Wolverine, except with conjunctivitis, and he's really upset about it. How is that cool? That is not cool. This is a joypad which is giant and stuck to him. And round the back we have, of course, the screen. Um, yeah, so a bit of hot glue later might actually get him to stay together. I have no idea who thought this was a good idea. I mean, is there one of the X-Men whose power is to look really pained the whole time? I don't know. Um, what does this button do? Ah, that makes, right, that makes that fly out. Gotcha. So, presumably, if I put in some... Where do the batteries go? Okay, now we've got a mystery on our hands. Um, seriously, where do the batteries go? They don't seem to go in the base. There's no sort of contacts down there. Um, it comes with two triple A's. They must go in here somewhere. Um, hmm. Instructions. Uh, oh, blimey. Oh, hang on, not to worry. They are in uh, English as well. Except, of course, I doubt it will make a whole lot of sense. Um, oh, they go in the controller! Oh, what a fool I've been! So that means I have to use this one. Oh, blimey. Come on, then give us a quick little rundown of how to play football. Key B, the key pass. While defence, the ball under the control of other party, our control player will be changed if pressed this key. While attack, it can pass the ball to our player in other side. The key A is for pass, struck, shoot. While defence, the ball under the control of other party, our control player will be changed if pressed this key. While attack, if not in penalty area, you can pass the ball to other players of our party if pressed this key. But the pass direction is not the same as key 5. If in penalty area of other party, this key is for shoot. You see, I miss the simplicity of these old games sometimes. <laughs> you know... What could be more simple than that ludicrous amount of pronouns and other such words shoved together in a seemingly random fashion? OK, let's put some batteries in. I'm not going to try the ones that came with. I shall use these ageing lithium batteries, which should hopefully still have enough charge to run something like this. If not, I feel a jump cut coming on. In you go. Oh dear, it doesn't fit very well. Not a good sign. Oh, twisty ties, twisty ties. So much time to fill. There we are, they've gone. Right. This goes in here, um, like like that, maybe. Um, is that where the other... Yes, that's where the divot, to show you which way around you're going, would be. Um, how on earth am I going to demonstrate this? I'm going to have to try and play it with one hand whilst um, holding it up in front of the camera, I suppose. This really isn't helping. Right. On, off, go. Yep, it's exactly the same old shite. I'm not even going to bother pressing play. You've seen this a million times. And it even does it even say City Fighter at the top? I don't know, it's disappeared. Yeah, it does, yep. Oh, man. It's like the worst form of nostalgia. Right, off you go. Oh, I say, I've just noticed the on-off button is actually marked no, off. That is the... <laughs> <laughs> that is the best instruction for using this. No, off! Turn it off! No, don't turn it on under any circumstances. What were the other games? Um, football. This will just be the classic, <coughs> classic football game they often give you with pops to L. Oh, I've broken that switch now. That'll help. And let's have a look. Yeah, this is it. But I will say this about the LCD pop stations over the old... Was that the beginning of Super Mario? That's a new one. Uh, blimey. Sorry, the music on these really throws me off. Yeah, um, this is the same old game, except the graphics are slightly clearer. How marvellous. However did I live my life without it. Right, eject that. And lastly, one that I don't actually recall hearing of. Why would I say I don't recall hearing of it before? It actually is vaguely familiar now. Sea and space... Sorry, sir and space fighting. Isn't it just... Um, submarine invasion, but with like some 
Yeah, because it's got the aeroplanes going above and the submarines below. Yeah, I'm thinking this is classic pub station. But not classic music. <laughs> All video games must now... What the hell was that? Sound like the theme tune to Inspector Gadget. Uh, this screen doesn't appear to work properly. Um, I can't see any aircraft at the top. There's some sort of... Uh, Battleship is there? Um, is this starting? Is there, is there a game happening? Is the screen broken? I no. I think that one's knackered. What an absolutely shut up! What an absolutely horrible end! Because I was so looking forward to it. Well, on the plus side, I haven't got any more of those bloody things for a while. <sighs> Shit! I thought if I told a lie, it might come true. Welcome to Air Force One Portable. Digital. Load of old bollocks. Comes with three games, but has space for four, but they've just filled those with little pictures. The games are Sir and Space Fighting. Gee, that sounds familiar. Football. Even got similar graphics, but also Tau Heroes Rencounter, which is possibly a really bad name for a dog. Do they mean Two Heroes Encounter? I wonder what that game is. There seems to be guns involved, judging by it. Or is it just City Fighter? Oh, please don't be. Oh, crikey. Right, back of the box. Absolutely nothing of use. Um, some stolen, probably, artwork of some fighters. Oh, dear. Yes, yeah, certain space fighting and football. Oh, blimey. Right, I tell you what. I am going to uh, open this, stick some batteries in, then we'll jump cut to it and see if it's any different. Here we go, Air Force One, because the President's aircraft looks exactly like that. It's an American classic. You know, he flies a big slab of shit. Well, the joypad is like some horrible suspended blobby thing. There's two buttons, and indeed, a very strangely shaped extra controller in case you have a friend you want to annoy as well as yourself. So, what is Tau Heroes Rencounter? I'll tell you what, if it starts off being City Hunter, it's going to be immediately ejected. Told ya. I assume that was it. Oh, it is the eject button. Hmm. Just doesn't work very well. Uh, well, on the plus side, we can now at least find out exactly what Sir and Space Fighting is. Um, start. No, on. Different music. Slightly different then. It won't shut up. Please shut up. Um, start. Bloop. Bloop. Oh, this is just submarine invasion. Oh, I was hoping it'd show us where the other bloody game was. Perhaps the other game was just this, but very, very broken. That wouldn't surprise me in the slightest. I'll tell you what, this seems to have undergone a slight upgrade. When you blow up the um, enemy aircraft there, they do actually look like they're exploding slightly. Well, that's enough for me. At least they've gone up in the world very slightly. Well, crikey, oh blimey, O'Reilly. I tell you what, my friends. There's no bigger way to bring yourself down after releasing a feature film than reviewing this shit. It's the same old crap it's always been, and it's still partially broken. But hey, at least these days we get... Cool Eye King person with... What is going on? Is that actually his eyeball which has fallen out of its socket? Why is that cool? It looks like he's got some sort of toothache thing going on as well. I have no idea. He is the man of many maladies. Perhaps that is his superpower. All I know is, I never want to see or hear of this fucker ever again.